good morning to all of you so let us start our session yeah do you hear me hello guys yes yes yeah okay yeah let us start our session so first of all about myself yes about about me here this is nageshwar rao okay having 22 years of experience 22 years of experience in software fields okay 22 years of experience okay yes sir uh, in 22, 22 years of experience yes 25 projects completed 25 projects completed okay out of 25 15 projects directly involved coding care directly involved involved in the coding involved in the coding okay 15 projects directly involved in the coding care 10 projects provided solutions for 10 projects provided solutions okay solutions okay presently presently yes i am working as i am working as solution architect solution architect architect on hadoop and yes java project hadoop and java project hadoop and java project and also on embedded c also hadoop java and embedded c yes i have the good experience with embedded systems also embedded c okay presently working as solution architect on hadoop java and embedded c projects okay big data hadoop yes big data most of the time spending on this big data hadoop here big data hadoop big data and hadoop projects next java projects next embedded c okay yes my present working company presently i am working with silotech private limited hyderabad yes just you can check in google that company name okay so present working company silotech private limited yes as a solution architect i am working for that company yes presently clients yes client yes clients are first one dbold dbold this is for hadoop projects and hadoop projects hadoop projects dbold for hadoop projects dbold is a client okay next one more client is paypal for paypal yes java projects java projects paypal okay java projects okay sorry is yes, java projects okay java projects yes paypal next one more clients technos techno yes corp yes techno corp yeah this is esa client here Yeah, Dibold all CSA clients. Dibold all CSA. PayPal just Chennai. Yes, the client is in Chennai. Working for Chennai client. Yes, Techno Corp. Okay, that is CSA. Okay. Yes, you can check Google all these clients. Here yeah, the clients are working here. Yes, yeah, this is a Techno Corp. Yes, yeah, this is CSA. This is a embedded C project. We are working on one one embedded project. embedded c this is embedded c okay yes techno yes techno corp yes embedded c okay yes this techno corp yes they have the indian branch also yes their branch is techno soft techno soft chennai the techno soft is chennai techno corp is usa okay this is chennai their indian branch chennai okay 
right so this is my experience yes 22 years of experience okay yes 25 projects completed 15 projects direct inward coding here 10 projects provided solutions here presently working as solution architect on big data hadoop java and embedded c projects present working company silatech they are the clients okay yes my most of the experience on linux okay yes linux admin linux admin next hadoop hadoop development or admin both here both areas and java yes most one is java yes next python okay i worked on python projects also yes as a part of hadoop projects big data projects worked on python and embedded c yes embedded c so embedded c okay right so this is my experience yes 22 years of experience in that i worked with many technologies main my focus area this is linux area and hadoop and java this area all are related things here hadoop yes related with java python yes hadoop that big data yes big data technologies hadoop java python yes embedded is not a part of big data it's a different one completely next linux admin this area right yes i am i'm an expert in this area so any kind of doubts you can ask me linux that area java area python area any kind of doubts you can ask me right so this is about myself about my experience how okay, correct yes next yes our course our course is linux and unix both going to discuss linux and unix this is our course okay our course is linux and unix here right okay next next year what are the course contents okay course contents what are the course contents going to discuss course contents course contents so first first one yes software basics software basics going to discuss about software basics i am starting from very basics here okay yes here non it background guy also can understand this okay see here prerequisite i am not expecting anything from you no prerequisite to learn this course okay no prerequisite okay i am not expecting anything from you from the basics i am starting here okay yes it's a beginner course yes linux is a beginner yes even non it non it guy also can understand this who don't have it background they can understand this starting from very basics okay yes any non it guy is there you can choose linux career it's a good career and very long career okay linux career it's long career very good career yes even highly paid also next lot of openings available in market here lot of openings available okay yes soft first initially software basics after that linux and unix yes basics linux and unix basics here okay after that yes next next is yes linux installation next topic is linux installation how to install linux ways okay yes installing linux ways yes linux installation okay half installing linux ways here next user level commands user level commands going to discuss about user level commands next is user level commands so first initially software basics next linux and unix basics here next linux installation next user level commands Okay, user level comments. So after finishing user level comments, next is shell scripting. Shell scripting. Shell scripting topic. After finishing shell scripting, next admin topic. Admin comments. Admin comments. Yes, admin comments. After finishing admin comments, next project. Some real time projects. So these are the topics we will discuss. Okay. For all of these things, I have prepared documents. So don't worry about notes here. Well prepared document is available. Yes, Linux material. Yes, that Linux. See Linux documents. Yeah, this is Linux document. Just wait. Let me open the document. Yes. See first initially basics of software. Starting from very basics. After finishing software basics, next Linux in its basics like the architecture of linux base 
features okay yes interpreter compiler differences linux distributions like ubuntu linux base mint linux mint red hat linux federal like this these all are linux basics here linux file system okay next linux installation okay you see this basics linux installation next user level comments okay see up to fourth topic will be taken for first 10 days first 10 days for first fourth topic here yes user level comments see file system yes how to create user new user okay next ls comments different options of ls comments see file system that hierarchy linux file system hierarchy this is linux file system hierarchy okay one by one step by step very clearly explaining here next user level command starting here user level commands checking for current login user okay yes how to take the help of linux base next ls command different options here next date commands different options okay yes a timestamp preparing timestamp next calendar command different options next working directories all their user level commands working directories creation of directories okay next creation of directories deleting directories modifying directories okay like this we have different content yes renaming directories okay copying directories path concept absolute path relative path like this these all are user level comments these are the comments different comments to work with the directories yes after that next step yes files how to work with the files different operations on the files here creation displaying copying comparison all the operations here files working with the files here after working with the files here next link files how to create link files like hard link and soft links like this creation of link files okay yes after this yes here path how to use the path yes while copying files copying files from one location to another location using path concept using path yes after this next yes next filtering files here how to filter the files here suppose in current working directory thousands of files from the filtering only java files filtering only python files how to filter yes filtering those comments okay yes after finishing this editing file data how to modify the file data yes gedit vi yes here most important is vi gedit is very simple to work here but vi it's not easy how to work with the vi editor vi this vi editor, visual editor yes that vi commands here command mode input mode exit mode like this different modes yes all the commands to work with the vi editor vi editor commands all these commands okay after finishing this next one is how to develop c programs in linux base yes developing c projects in linux base steps to develop the c project in linux base okay after that next to python yes how to develop the python scripts in linux base next project development python project development linux base that python here python concepts in linux base okay yes after python next java yes installing java suppose here c language python yes installation not required it's a built in with linux base c and python inbuilt with linux base so directly you can use it here but java you have to install it how to install java installing java jdk jdk9 like this how to install it next how to set the path this concept next developing java application developing java applications and developing java project compilation then execution here so developing java project okay after java next mysql how to install mysql ways installing mysql ways next working with mysql and linux ways so mysql so working with mysql all that mysql commands okay half of this next pipe this is one of the important linux ways all their user level only not to admin level all user level commands pipe using pipe for job training purpose redirection operators okay next head commands tail commands these are some filters t command okay next yes translate command all the filters what's the purpose of filters how do you set filters we'll discuss one by one here grep 
searching for something it is one of the important language base grep okay next to our command yes how to create zip file in linux creation of zip using tar files okay yes after that file permissions yes this is most important topic in linux base okay yes most important and interested also okay mandatory this yes you must have this knowledge compulsory yes is security concept here linux security linux is most popular because of security reasons the topic this is okay so permissions change mode command using change mode changing file permissions like this security concept this is okay so change mode next you must killing jobs and all this yes up to this user level commands okay up to this taken for 10 days first to 10 days these topics okay next work with shell here shell work with bash shell shell scripting this is shell scripting different scenarios see here not only explaining commands here where to use in real time yes my real time experience i'll be explaining 20 years of experience i have in linux base yes all that experience maximum i'll try to show it okay yes different scenarios different commands and scenarios yes commands anyone can explain but what is scenario use real time scenarios yes we'll discuss that okay next here shell scripting writing shell scripting next working with shell variables that variables topic here this is okay command line parameters in linux shell scripting this is a command line parameters like java and c language here also command line parameters okay yes after this next how to read data from the keyboards reading from the keyboards next preparing records so preparing records some data preparation of records all this okay next operators arithmetic or mathematical how to use operators in shell, shell scripting here yes mathematical relational greater than greater than equal less than less than or equal to relational using relational next logical and or not how to use these things okay yes mathematical operators on the some examples see there's some example here next control statements if statement case statement value for loop under their control statements yes how to use all these statements different scenarios different ways here okay yes all these shell programs this is okay yes for understanding syntax purpose explaining small small, small programs after understanding then going for real time examples real time scenarios okay where to use in real time how to use that if statement all this here file test this is real time here the existence of files checking for size of the file next permissions like this all these concepts okay this scripting concepts all the scripts work of 50 to 60 yes shell scripts are going to discuss here okay many number of examples see this is log file how to create log file using timestamp yes to the scripting here adding log files adding log file to the scripting here that that example this is very very important example okay this real time example here okay yes next case statement using case statement different ways like this case statement different examples different examples and case statement while loop okay next until loop different examples okay different examples while until loop here yes next for loop how is for loop yes and for loop different examples so these are some real time examples real time related examples going to discuss here using for loop all these examples like this okay yes so this is next in shell scripting their filters concept advanced filters like cut comments paste command and sort command and arc these are our filters using shell here all the filters all the filters awk arc, arc programming okay next shell scripting functions yes how to write the functions like a c and java here also you can write some functions java methods here functions c language functions same as that we can write functions here also like functions with no arguments no written value functions with arguments no written value function with arguments written value function with no arguments and written value like that different type of functions we'll discuss yes many examples on the functions here all the examples here are the examples these are all the examples in functions okay these all are self-scripting concepts here 
shall skip thing okay 60 to 60 70 examples going to discuss 60 to 70 yes real time examples token technical related examples we'll discuss okay after finishing shell scripting next administration okay see here software basics yes linux unif basics linux installs user level comments 10 days so this up to fourth topic is a 10 days okay next scripting yes these are the same 10 days 10 days next admin projects and project you say next 10 days 10 days okay our course will be taken for 25 to 30 days see first you 10 next 10 next 10 here 30 days max 30 days not more this okay if possible i will try to finish within 25 days okay if possible yes if i am taking more time yes i can finish in 25 days also okay right yes so these are syllabus being just covered so this will be taken for 25 to 30 days 25 to 30 days 30 days yes monday to monday to saturday monday to saturday yes a time 10 30 10 30 am to 10 30 am to yes 12 10 30 12 am okay 10 30 12 here suppose if any changes then then i will start at 10 o'clock yes in my office maybe sometimes we early starting here we are 10 a.m am starting here yes after finishing 12 o'clock yes afternoon shift yes time is i'm working here I'll, I'll go to office okay yes one o'clock my office okay so by 1 30 or 2 o'clock i'll be reaching office here so 10 30 to 12 o'clock right okay yes daily like this so monday to saturday class okay 25 to 30 days okay so these are the topics yes these are the yes this is about myself next these are course contents course contents okay yes 25 to 30 days course here monday to saturday time 10 30 to 12 o'clock right okay yes next what is prerequisites to learn this prerequisites yes prerequisites to learn linux here prerequisites nothing i am not expecting anything from you nothing no expectations here okay nothing no prerequisites nothing required here okay non it yes even non it background girls can understand it here non it non it also can understand this without any it background you can understand this okay right yes so that's all yes regarding this any doubts yes i'm starting topic yes i'll be moving the topic actual topic okay any doubts from you guys yes about about course contents about duration yes about prerequisites any doubts no doubts yes krishna anish harish any doubts related to this maybe your prerequisites i am not expecting anything from you no expectations here no prerequisites okay just you can start a linux career okay right next one more thing here for whom this course for whom for whom this course here for whom okay for whom this course yes sir who are choosing linux career linux admins okay linux admins for them this is very good course linux admin who are choosing linux career for them very good course this is okay yes next thing. suppose we are choosing for hadoop career yes hadoop yes hadoop admins and development hadoop developers for both is very really useful this course linux admins hadoop admins and hadoop developers Hadoop developers very useful course this is. Okay, next apart from this, we are choosing AWS career. Amazon Web Services, AWS. For them also very good this course. Okay, next. Yes, DevApps. These all are infrastructure area. This area, this course is very suitable here. Linux admin, Hadoop admin, developers, AWS, and DevApps. 
this area who are going to work in this area very suitable course next one more testers for testers also very suitable this is what are the syllabus our syllabus yes i am covering almost all the topics okay every topic i'll be covering here okay yes uh, in depth i will be covering so testers yes after that next after testers next maybe python developers python yes in real time python development is always linux based so for them also very useful for python developers python developers for python developers very useful course okay next next yes next one more java developers is one of the important here java developers so java developers sometimes they should work on production servers when java developers working on production servers very useful this is okay so for the all these guys this is very useful course linux admins who are choosing linux career for them very useful course this is okay yes after finishing this course yes you can yes you can put up you can put up you can put up three to four years of experience three to four years of experience okay three to four years of experience you can put up here right okay yes how to put up the experience i'll tell you I, yes i can give you a resume if you want i can give the resume here you can put up up to three to four years of experience okay i can give resume for this next entry questions yes we'll be discussing entry questions also one second linux admin yes uh, see here in topics so user level comments shell scripting 10 days next linux admin projects these are 10 days like admin they are admin topics all the admin admin topics like uh, yes job scheduling first one job scheduling it's admin topic here okay after job scheduling how to check the disk free space and disk uses checking for disk uses hard disk free space next how to install softwares installing softwares how to install all the softwares okay installing softwares different kind of softwares like java installation python installation mysql installation eclipse installation yes oracle installation like this different installations going to discuss okay next users management groups and users how to create new group how to add users to that group here like this, all the topic going to discuss here users management this is very very important here okay yes after that next networking setup how to set up the network here so taking some 10 computers so how to put in network here okay next ip address configuration ip address ip address setup here yes ip address setup here ip address configure ip address okay next checking for networking connectivity using ping okay how to check for network connectivity next how to set up dns names domain naming service okay like www.facebook.com is a dns name right domain naming service okay for this actual physical address is different here so how to map this name to that physical ip address something like 160.10.20.1 for this maybe name is something like this how to map it that name mapping here the topic will discuss okay next ssh to work with the remote system suppose from your development team connect to production servers production server may be at us location how to connect using sh so working with production servers okay next using putty using putty how to work with the production servers server is at us location from hyderabad connect to that servers for that putty working with putty here okay next putty next scp command to copy the files one system to other system network here sometimes you have to copy the file from your system to production server how to copy that scp command next win scp tool yes see putty it's a putty tool yes how to work on this putty tool next win scp one more win scp tool how to use win scp tool yes this is my office laptop okay same that environment yes i'll be explaining here Okay, all the topics what are i working here everything i'll explain for you it's a in win scp working with in scp 
to transfer files from Windows to Linux based, Linux to Windows, vice versa. That case using Windows CP. This is okay. These all are admin related topics here. Okay, next working with FTP. How is FTP? That FTP and FTP commands. Yes, uploading data and downloading data. Sometimes you have to upload some files, project files uploading to client location and downloading some documents from the client location, uploading, downloading documentations, documents. That case you can use FTP here. Sorry. Yes, FTP. Okay. Yes, very interesting topic FTP. This is okay. Right? After finishing FTP, next is project using shell script. Yes, very big project. This yes, some updating users here, like adding user, searching for user, resetting password, deleting user, displaying all users, count of users, like this. All that is a project. Yes, using shell scripting. This all the shell scripting. Completely shell scripting project. This is. Very interesting project. This is so one of the yes, interesting real time projects. This is okay. This is one of our project actually here. The shell scripting is one of our projects. Okay. Next, finally, entry questions. Okay, different kind of entry questions. So these are the topics we will discuss. Right, okay. So first two 10 days user level comments. Next 10 days scripting. Next 10 days admin comments. Right, okay. So 25 to 30 days here. So prerequisite nothing here. Okay, next class Monday to Saturday. Okay. Yes. For whom this is useful here? For these guys. So our course contents are useful for all these guys here. Like Linux admins, Hadoop admins are developers here, AWS, DevOps, okay, then testers, Python developers, Java developers. Yes, even one more here. Yes, uh, like the AI, artificial intelligence. Like data sense, who are working with data sense for them, it is a very suitable course here. Yes, nowadays Linux has become mandatory in the industry here. Okay, every software guy must have that Linux knowledge. Okay. Yes. So this is right. Yes, you can put up up to three to four years of experience in your resume. Okay. So how to prepare that resume? Yes. I'll give you that. I, I can send you resume after finishing your course, right? So these are the things about this, right? Yes. Now let us start actual topic here. Yes. So today let me give some introduction. Okay. Yes, introduction. Yes, I'm not expecting anything from you. Okay. Yes, to learn Linux and Linux, just basics enough here. Basics of OS. Yes, what is that basics here? Like folder and file. What is folder and what is file? Okay, see these are folders, right? All the folders. Suppose opening some, yes, there's some folder here. The folder, all the files, right? Okay, next this is file, right? This is fine. Okay. So file, what is file? File contains what? Data. File contains data. What is folder? Folder contains files. Okay. So what is folder? What is file here? Yes. What is a folder? Yes. Folder. Yes. It's a collection of files. It is a collection. It's a collection of files. It's a collection of files. Right. What is file? File is a collection of data. It is a collection of data it's a collection yes it's a collection of data right so folder is a collection of files file is a collection of data that's it only this is i'm expecting from you right okay yes now let us start excel session yes i'm starting from very basics yes computer where See computer where yes computer where basically two categories basically two categories two categories first one hardware second one software hardware and software computer where basically two categories there is a hardware and software so what is hardware what is software let us see so what is hardware yes hardware these are physical components right these are physical physical components physical components 
ఒక ఫిజికల్ కాంపనెంట్స్ కాంపనెంట్స్ ఆఫ్ ఎ కంప్యూటర్ ఫిజికల్ కాంపనెంట్స్ ఆఫ్ ఎ కంప్యూటర్ ఓకే ఫిజికల్ కాంపనెంట్స్ ఆఫ్ ఎ కంప్యూటర్ ఎస్ సచ్ ఆస్ కీబోర్డ్స్ ఎస్ కీబోర్డ్స్ సచ్ ఆస్ కీబోర్డ్స్ మౌస్ ఓకే మేబి హార్డ్ డిస్క్ ఓకే ఎస్ నెక్స్ట్ మదర్ బోర్డ్స్ మదర్ బోర్డ్స్ ఓకే హార్డ్ డిస్క్ మదర్ బోర్డ్ ఎస్ మేబి ర్యామ్ ఎస్ మేబి ప్రొసెసర్ ఎస్ ఆల్ దియర్ కమ్స్ ఆన్ ద హార్డ్వేర్ కంపెనీ yes we can touch it right we can touch so these are all our hardware components but actually our part is software we are software engineers so our part is software okay yes let us see software what is software okay yes we are software engineers so i am moving to software so what is software in software everything everything is a program everything is a program everything is a program right yes it's a collection of programs it is a collection of programs what is software yes it's a collection of programs it's a collection of programs okay like this c program yes maybe c plus maybe java yes maybe python like this yes maybe sql sql programs something like this in software yes everything is program it's a collection of programs like c c++ java python sql like this okay next in software basically two categories yes basically yes two categories two categories okay first one system software okay second one application software system software next is application software system software next application software in software basically two categories system software next application software okay yes what is system software system software yes, this is to interact with the hardware components system software is yes, to interact to interact with the hardware components so to interact with the hardware components to interact with the hardware is components hardware components to interact with the hardware components examples examples device drivers device drivers and operating systems and operating operating systems systems comes under this category device drivers and operating systems okay yes linux is a os right linux os is operating system so linux comes under system software linux is system software yes what is device driver and os we'll see next here okay second one application software yes application software yes application yes software yes what is application software yes application software this is for the purpose of application developments okay yes to develop the applications for the purpose for the purpose of application or some app developing some app here application developments for the purpose of application developments okay yes application yes yes there are different kind of application right yes daily we are working with many applications many applications like uh, yes facebook it's an application right facebook is an application next whatsapp is an application whatsapp is an application okay right yes next gmail it is an application google it is an application like this different applications right so daily we are working this kind of applications okay durga website it is an application banking system its application flipkart it is an application right so all the applications how to develop these applications here to develop these applications we need some softwares we need some softwares those are called as application softwares application softwares using for application developments example example application softwares like java c language next c++ next hadoop okay yes maybe oracle database oracle db database all the application softwares right okay yes uh, about notes you don't worry yes everything prepared in document here let me open document see this so document here in document from the beginning basics of software software it's a collection of programs 
such as C, C plus a Java, SQL, and other programs. Software basically two categories: system software, next application software. System software it interacts with the hardware components. Examples: device drivers and operations. Device drivers and operations comes under this category here. A system software interact with the hardware components, interacting with the hardware components. Examples, device drivers and operating systems. Application software for the purpose of application development. Application development. Examples, C language, C++, Java, .NET, ERP and other packages. Okay. A system software device drivers. Yes, let us see something about driver here. System software examples. Device drivers and operations. Okay. Yes, device driver. Yes, what is device driver? What is device driver? See here to run any, any device driver requests. Without driver devices in network. Any device. Suppose your computer connected to printer, some driver requests. Suppose your computer connect to printer, driver requests here. Connect to TV, driver requests. Maybe fax machine driver requests. Okay. Yes, maybe scanning machine driver request to run any device compression driver requests. So exactly what is driver? Yes, driver, they are the programs. So device driver, this is a program. So device driver is a program to communicate with hardware components. Okay. Yes, almost all drivers were developed in C language. Almost two. Yes, almost all drivers. Almost all drivers are developed in C language, means they are C programs. Okay, drivers are programs. So what is driver? driver what is driver here? It's a program. Yes, it's a driver is a program. Yes, it's a program. Driver is a program to communicate, to communicate, to communicate with the hardware components. Driver is a program to communicate with the hardware components. Okay. To, to, to communicate with hardware here. Okay. It's a program. Device driver. It's a program to communicate with hardware components. Every device has its own driver. Without drivers, devices will not work here. Without drivers, devices will not work. Okay. Without driver, devices will not work here. Okay. So compulsory drivers requires. Like for example, printer driver, scanner driver. Network drivers. Suppose in our home they say Wi-Fi. That Wi-Fi can be some network driver. Okay, networking communication. Sometimes suppose internet they may be using some bridges and gateways. Yes, for the drivers required. So this is driver sketch. Maybe printer driver. Okay, maybe network drivers. All the examples. So what is device driver? It's a program to communicate with the hardware components. Okay. Next, every device has its own driver. So without drivers, device will, devices will not work here. From where we can get drivers here? Hardware vendors. Yes, who are supplying hardware, they will give the driver here. Take the driver and use that system here, right? Use that device here, right? Suppose any new device release in the market here. Any new device release in the market here, the device manufacturer, the device manufacturer will give the driver. The device manufacturer, We'll give the driver here. So take the driver and put in the system and you can use the device here, right? So to run the devices, driver requires. Okay, so driver, driver, yes, device driver, it's a program to communicate with hardware components. Okay, same thing explain the document also. See this device driver. These are the programs to communicate with hardware components. Okay, next every device has its own drivers. Device drivers are supplied by hardware vendors. Example, printer driver, network drivers. Okay, so next is about OS. What is OS? Yes, our part is OS. Okay, see here. Yes, system software examples. Device drivers and operating system. Now, this is our actual topic, OS. Okay, now let us start OS here. Yes, Linux comes under operating system. So what is OS? Here. Some question for you. Yes, guys. Some question. Yes, can we run? Can we run any program? Can we run any program without without OS? Can we run any program without OS here? 
say yes or no yes can we run any program without yes here some question for you guys hello no. guys can we run any program without yes no can no. run no compulsory yes required okay yes i'm expecting answer from all of you guys hello yes yeah are you no. able to hear me yeah not able yeah, to hear the yeah. answer is can no we run any program without yes no we can't run answer is no here we can't run here compulsory yes required okay so for example here for example learning c language learning java yes maybe learning some software for the purpose of learning software you might have purchased some laptop laptop your laptop okay so laptop is a hardware first purchasing laptop after purchasing laptop means hardware hardware after purchasing laptop what is next step os we should install operating system yes install os okay after installing operating system here next what yes your system is ready right these two layers os and hardware okay yes system is ready one system is ready next install your c software sub learning java install java here learning python then install python sub learning hadoop then hadoop right yes all the things are called as application software these are all our application softwares okay c okay java yes maybe c++ okay yes maybe dot net yes all their application softwares okay right c these c program c++ dot net something all their application softwares these programs running on top of os right okay without os without this os here these programs will not work here os required compulsory so on top of os all the programs running right all the programs running okay simply can say like a platform this is on top of os everything is running so we can say platform so what is os 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 is a platform yes os is a platform it's a platform it's a platform where where we can run where we can where we can run all application software all the application software all the application software all the application software right to run that application software who is required so acting like a platform so ways is like a platform okay not only really platform here see sometimes c program generating some output c program generating some output so first c program output goes to os right yes after that the data now transfer to output device transfer to output device okay so os to then simply output device right c program output goes to os here os to output device suppose c program reading from the keyboard yes keyboard data reading from the keyboard so first c keyboard data goes to os here okay os to then c program os to c program well, like this okay so your output any output generating first of all output goes to os os to output device so reading from the keyboard first the keyboard data goes to os os to c program right okay yes here there is no direct interaction there is no direct interaction between application software and hardware components no don't have direct interaction here there is no direct interaction yes no don't have this direct interaction here don't have this one here no direct interaction here okay yes this cannot interact directly here yes that application software is cannot okay so application software cannot interact with the hardware components directly here so your first application software output goes to os os to hardware next reverse hardware to os os to application software right so it is like a interface so between application software between application software and hardware there is a os so os it's an interface next point we can say yes it is an interface it is an interface it is an interface yes between it is an interface between application application software and the hardware components and the hardware components it's an interface between application software and hardware right this is about this basic idea about os here what is os it's a platform os is a platform where we can run 
all the application softwares. Next, it's an interface between application software and hardware components. Okay, right? Next here. Here to communicate between application software and hardware. Yes, OS has its own library here. Every OS has its own input output library. So with that input output library, it can communicate between application softwares and hardware components. Yes, input output library to communicate between application software and hardware components. Every OS has a library here. Yes, Windows, its own library. Linux, its own library. Unix, its own library. Like that, every OS, there's a library here, right? Yes, what is that OS library? Yes, in Linux OS, I'll explain this. In Linux, we'll discuss. What is library? That input output library. In Linux, I'll explain it here. Okay, right? Yes. So every OS has its own library here, right? Every has operating system. Yes, contains. Contains, yes, library. Library to communicate. To communicate. Communicate between between application software and a hardware components and a hardware components, right? This is about OS. Okay. Same thing explain the document here. See the documents. OS. Yes, it's a platform where we can run application software. Next, it's an interface. It's an interface between hardware and application software. Next, every operating system has its own libraries to communicate between application software and hardware components. Here, see hardware on top of this OS. Next, application software. Yes, in document, everything is mentioned. So don't worry about notes here. Every topic very clearly is there. Okay, right? Yes. See, software, let's say collection of programs, like C, C++, Java, SQL, something like this. In software, basically two categories, system software and application software. Yes, application software for the purpose of application development. Application software for the purpose of application development. Application, something like Facebook application, Google application, okay, like Gmail application, Durga website, all the applications. To develop such kind of applications, we need application softwares like Java, okay, C language, C++, just things. Okay, right? So that is about application software. Linux comes under system software. Linux is a system software. So let us move into system software here. Let us move to system software. What is system software? Yeah, this interacts with the hardware components. System software interacts with hardware components. Example, device drivers hunt operating systems. Device driver. See, to run the devices, driver requests. Device driver is to run the devices. OS is to run the programs. Yes, to run any program. To run any program, OS required compulsory. Okay. Device driver is to run the devices. That's all here. Okay. So this is just a basic idea about OS here. Right. Okay. Next in operating system, there are two categories. There is a character interface and graph filter. Yes, in operating systems, there are two categories like character is interface or you can say CLI also. Okay. Next second one, GA, graph is interface. Character interface. See character. Yes, character user interface. Character is interface. Or you can say command line. Yes, command line. Command line interface. Command line interface. Okay. Character is interface or command line interface. Anyone you can say here. GA. Yes, graphical. Yes, GA. Yes, graphical user interface. Graphical user interface. User interface. Right? Graphical user interface. Right? Okay. See, in Windows, they say command prompt, right? Command prompt. This is character interface. This is character user interface or command line. See, typing some line, right? It's a whole line is a command line. Yes, it's a CLI, command line interface. Okay. CLS. Clear the screen, command, DR, some output like this. DAR. See here, DAR. See DR. Means directory here. This DR directory here. Test is a directory here. Okay. X1, X2, like this. If these are directories, DR directly. So a T colon that would take to D drive. CLS, clear the screen here. DR output here. Okay. Now these are all our directories. What is directly here? Yes, in Linux, we'll discuss exactly what is directly here. 
yes little bit we will discuss directory dr c n r i t is a direct rate dr n r i t clients n r i t linux like this okay see that d drive c n r i t is a folder rich okay so n r i t c material hardware material like this all these clients like this right so these are the folders these folders starting with n r i t right same thing starting with n r i t it's a directory all directories okay this dr image directly here all the directories suppose for example here here this is a test test is directly cd test changing test location see let's clear this screen now present working directory test here not dr output like this yes these these are the files next again directories like x1 x2 x3 okay see dr x1 x2 x3 x4 directories d drive test folder test folder x1 x2 right the directories x1 x2 the directories same thing ga calling as folder right directory this is similar to folder directory folder both are same directory folder both are same yes in character interface calling as directory here in character interface it is directory here this is directory in character interface directory here it is directory okay in ga calling as folder same thing ga calling as folder here folder right so this is character interface here all our commands okay yes mouse will not work it's not user friendly you must have commands knowledge yes if you learning linux is not an issue das ms das very simple somewhat like a linux commands okay next ga this is ga graphical interface is user friendly so this is difference character interface and graphical interface character interface and graphical like this okay right yes this next there is a single user and multi user in both cases there is a single user and multi user operating systems okay right single user multi user so this is just introduction okay right just introduction for today yes tomorrow will continue for single user multi user yeah this is lot of function explain here okay time may not have enough here okay yes any doubts for today yes okay. yeah. <clears throat> yeah i have a couple of questions yeah sure yeah actually i'm planning to write the red hat certification so does this courseable uh, the, uh, does this course suitable for me well even i can guide you okay uh, now are you able to hear me yeah sure I'm yeah ready to hear. yeah actually what is my question is actually i'm planning to write the red hat certification okay so is this course suitable for me 100% 100% suitable okay okay i can guide you yes even that that yes how to write that certification what are the questions asking in the certification i can give you no problem okay 100% suitable to write the red hat course Okay, right. Okay. The certification course you can write easily, easy, easily can pass it. It's not an issue. Even you can score ninety percent of score, you'll get it. Okay. 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 Fine. And uh, one more question is: uh, Are you recording this session? Like uh, after our class yeah, ends, we will be recording. Yeah, yeah. Every yes, now it's going on recording. This this session is being recorded. It's showing this message oh. here. Every oh, okay. session will be recorded. After finishing session, we'll put into Google Drive. you can okay. take from the drive here you can you can follow that suppose any session missing yes you can see that watch here you can watch it okay you can watch that uh, recordings okay next for you guys i am providing any way that you can see this document also i am providing you i'll send you this document the daily class document i'll send it here okay next in this software i'll provide it okay right? Yes, yeah. Okay. Any class, any class unable to attend here due to some reasons here. You can take that recordings. Okay. At the end of the course, all recordings you can take it. Okay. For you guys, one one year validity. One year. Yes, that year is given for one year. One year we can watch it. Right. Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. Any That's other it. doubts? Suppose, That's uh, it. I'm good. Thank you. Maybe. Two or three days by May. yes. Due to some reasons, if you terminated this batch, you can attend another batch also. We are giving that facility also. Okay, due to some reasons at the middle.
maybe your uh, shift changing maybe your timing changing here okay that case you can right next any others any other doubts for today no doubts right yes no any no doubts for today okay yeah see tomorrow yes tomorrow i'll be taking up to 12 o'clock okay all at 11 40 yes tomorrow i'll be taking up to 12 okay yeah yeah thank you guys see you tomorrow thank you thank you sir you're welcome